Hey everybody, it's Marcus again and today we're going to do another session of yoga for runners. So today we're going to focus on our lower back area. So when you run, um, a lot of tension builds up in the lower back area. So we're going to try to take out some of that tension and just basically move the spine around. You don't have to be a runner to do this. Even just sitting down can really pile up some tension on your lower back. So this is great for everybody. Whenever you're ready, we'll start lying down to our backs. Then. Once you lie down, we're going to have your knees bent and have the feet flat to floor. Feet are about hip distance apart, feet are parallel. Let's rest your hands next to your hips. Now focus on your belly, your butt, and your lower back. Now as you inhale, let's overarch your back. Keep your butt down, tilt the tailbone down, and try to lift your back off the ground. Exhale, press your back flat to the floor. Tilt your tailbone up. Make sure your butt still stays down. Again, inhale, overarch the back. There's space between your back and the floor. Exhale, press the back flat to the ground and pull the belly in. Three more, inhale to overarch. Exhale, press the back flat. Two more, inhale, overarch. Exhale, press the back flat to ground. And one more inhale, over arch. Exhale, press it down flat. Awesome. Relax your back. Now from here, let's hug the right knee to your chest. Straighten your left leg to floor. Inhale. Exhale, forehead to your knee, chin to chest. Hug your right thigh in. Bring your forehead towards the knee best you can. Really curl up, hold for inhale. Exhale, lower the head down. Right hand, right side, palm up, inhale. Exhale, knee to your left, crossing over. Now you're trying to bring your knee towards the floor. Your shoulders anchor down. You can look towards your right hand, a gentle neck stretch. Now your shoulders anchor down so your chest doesn't turn. Use your left hand to help your right knee down so the hips can turn. You get a nice tug on your lower back. Stay here, stay. Inhale, come center. Exhale, lower the right foot. Left knee up, hug the left knee to chest. Maybe straighten your right leg to floor. Left hand to the left palm up, or actually hug your thigh in, and exhale, forehead to the knee first. Good. Keep lifted. Curl up as much as you can. Awesome. Breathe. One more inhale here. Exhale, head down. Now let's bring the left arm to the left palm up. Exhale, knee to the right, knee to the right, cross over. Shoulders stay down, help the knee towards the ground. So that right arm is helping the knee down. Look away from the leg if you'd like a gentle neck stretch. Feel that tug on your lower back. Stay here, please stay. Breathe. Very good, helping that knee down still. Inhale, come center. Exhale, hug knees to chest, forehead to knees, chin to chest. Rock forward and back, and rock up to seated. Please sit up. Now come to a comfortable seat for you. That might be legs straight, that might be legs crossed, maybe even sit on a block, whatever feels best. Shoulders back and down, let's bring the fingers to the side. Left hand up as you inhale. Exhale, reach over to the right. Stay or exhale, lower to your forearm for a deeper stretch. Anchor the butt down, lean back a smidge, reach to the right all the way through. Awesome, keep your shoulders down away from ears. Keep reaching to the right side. Maybe look up to ceiling, make sure you're still breathing. Stay here, inhale. Exhale, bow your chest to your right knee, fold over to your right. Now your right hand pushes down, your left hand walks away a bit more. Pull with your left hand, Push with your right hand, let the torso hang heavy. You should feel a big tug on your left waist. Make sure you breathe here, stay. Inhale, walk the hands to center, walk the hands forward. Exhale, fold over, ready. Relax, arms, head and neck. Inhale, slowly roll up. Let the arms just drag, very slowly, vertebra by vertebra. Head up, very last. 
Same thing, shoulders back and down, fingers slide. Right hand up in here, exhale, reach over to the left. Sarah, exhale, lower to forearm, but down, meaning back, reach over to your left. Shoulders away from ears. Keep breathing, keep reaching, stay. Very good, keep the left arm where it is, inhale. Exhale, bow left, bow left, awesome. Push down with your left hand, feel the butt anchor better. Right hand walks away, feel the stretch in the right waist. Push with the left hand, pull with your right hand. Hold here for a moment, let the torso hang over the left side, breathe. Good, stay. Very good. Inhale, walk the hands forward, and exhale, fold over. Relax, arms, head and neck. Inhale, roll up slow. Take your time, arms drag very slowly. Head up, very last. Good, remember which ankle is in front or on top. Give the legs a quick shake, and bring them back in, or just keep the legs straight again, up to you. <clears throat> Let's bring your hands to the knees or thighs. Now inhale, lift up your chest high. Exhale, bow the chest towards the right side, lean right. Start to circle it forward. Bring it all the way middle. Inhale, come up the left side. Really reach to the left. Go all the way back and around. And exhale, bow right again. Awesome. We're doing that four more times. Four cir or five circles in total. No rush at all, but really leaning as far as you go. Awesome, no rush at all. We're trying to give movement to the base of your spine here. Take your time, get that circle going, keep it big as best you can. I'm on my third circle here. We're going for five in total. Awesome, no rush. And use those arms to help you turn, awesome. Use those arms to help you with your circle. I'm on the last circle here. Take your time if you need more time to finish up. And just stop and sit up tall whenever you're ready. Take your time, no rush. Good, now once you're sitting up, other side, inhale, lift up the chest. Exhale, lean left. Start to bring it forward. Inhale to come up the right side, back and around, and exhale, four more to go, no rush. Awesome, so you're taking your time, you're using your arms to really help you out. Awesome. Make sure you're breathing, try to match that breath with your movement. So keeping the breath long. So you can keep up with the pace of the circle. Very good. Maybe you're on your third circle now. Awesome. And maybe last two circles to go. Just five. Good. And take your time to finish up. No rush at all. After five, just come back up to seated. Awesome. From there, give the legs a little shake. Bring the legs behind you. Let's come to your hands and knees, tabletop position. Wrist under shoulders, shoulder width apart, knees under hips, hip width apart. Spread fingers wide, tuck the toes under. Inhale, drop your belly down. Roll the shoulders back and down. Look up, cow. Exhale, curl your spine, look between your thighs, <clears throat> chin to your chest, cat. Inhale, belly down, arch your back, heart forward, look up, cow. Exhale, curl the spine, pull your belly in, press down with the palms and the fingertips, cat. Inhale, belly down, shoulder blades squeeze behind you, tailbone tilts up, look up, cow. Exhale, curl your spine, open the shoulder blades, tilt your tailbone downwards, cat. Just two more rounds at your own pace, cat and cow. So we're trying to really exaggerate that movement. Really make the curl big. Really make your arch in the back big. 
fast around here. No rush. <clears throat> and come back center whenever you're done, whenever you're ready. Now from here, little different. Inhale, exhale. Bring your head and your hips to the right side. Inhale, head down, hips down, or tailbone down, curl like cat. Bring it to the left as you inhale, hips and head left. Arch the back for your cow. Exhale, head and hips right. Coming down for a cat. Inhale, head and hips left. Arching the back for a cow. And three more like that. Good. Really get your whole spine involved. Get your whole body involved here. Breathe as you move. Awesome. The head and the hips go the same direction every time. Very good. Maybe your fourth one here, just five circles in total. Maybe last one, no rush at all. And just bring it back to a neutral spine after five circles one way. Awesome, let's do the other way. Inhale, exhale, head and hips left. Curl spine, look between thighs to your cat. Inhale, head and hips right. Arch the back, finding your cow. And four more to go. Awesome, really just getting into every nook and cranny of your spine. Figuring out ways to just get into those vertebrae. Awesome, and three more to go. No rush, just feel and breathe. Taking your time. Good. Awesome, and try to really get into your cat and cow as you're circling here. So try not to just go through it easy. Maybe last circle here, really feel as you pass through cat. Really feel it as you pass through cow and come back to a neutral spine. <coughs> awesome, from here, hands anchored to the floor. Step right foot back, then your left, come to a plank, inhale. Exhale, bring the hips up and back for downward facing dog. Let's bend your knees a bit here, just enough so your arms can straighten out and you can push your chest back. So your head is between the arms, the head is between the arms. From here, start to push your thighs back and press the heels to the floor. Chest pushing back, thighs pushing back, heels push to floor. Please walk your dog in place, keeping your head between your arms. <coughs> Take your time, really sticking the butt high as it goes. Maybe one more round, right and left, just to loosen up the legs a little. Awesome, and come back center once you're ready. Inhale, lift your right leg straight behind you. Flex the right foot, push the heel back. Exhale, step your right foot between the hands. Let's lower the back knee for a low lunge. Now bring your left hand on the floor. Let's bring the right hand up to the sky, turn right. You want to push the left hip forward. Make sure your front knee is on top of your ankle. Your back knee is behind your butt. Right hand straight up to sky. Now lean back a bit so you can really turn. Squeeze the front knee to chest and press that left hip forward. Drive that left hip forward. Breathe. Inhale, hands down, hands down. Exhale, step back, step back. Downward facing dog. Awesome, this time, left leg up, left leg up. Inhale, flex the foot, push it back. Exhale, step your foot between the hands. Lower the back knee, lower the back knee, low lunge. Again, front knee on top of ankle, back knee behind butt, right hand floor, left hand sky, turn left, turn left. Drive your right hip forward, squeeze your front knee to chest, turn the chest towards the ceiling. Keep breathing. Good, as you turn, you should feel just a smidge of release to the lower back. Make sure the right hip is pushing forward as your chest turns towards the sky, breathe. 
inhale hands down hands down exhale step forward this time forward to fold halfway up as you inhale hold to the shins or the floor exhale fold over to release bend your knees bend your knees relax arms head and neck inhale roll up slow and steady take your time vertebra five vertebra slowly head up very last good once you're up inhale reach the arms up clasp your hands release the index fingers Heart up, inhale, exhale, heart up and back, stay. Good, now make sure you're squeezing your butt and your tailbone tucks a little bit just so the lower back can get some space. Push the hips a little forward so the lower back can get a little space. Lift up the chest and really squeeze your upper back. Inhale, come up, exhale, hands to your side. Awesome, let's step your feet wide. Awesome, let's have your feet about arm width apart so let's open up the arms and get your feet pretty much underneath your wrists from here keep your feet parallel inhale exhale fold forward come down come halfway up as you inhale for flat back exhale fold over to release now you can keep your hands under you or walk the hands through the legs to fold a little more maybe clasp your hands up and overhead just letting arms dangle for a shoulder stretch now we're here for a little bit, just giving the legs a bit of a length, a bit of length, thighs pushing back, head and neck heavy, just hang over here, stay. Very good, breathe. <clears throat> One more inhale, exhale, hands to floor. Halfway up, inhale, flat back leg table. Now keep your feet parallel, just walk your hands to your right leg. Hold on where you can here. Maybe the foot, ankle, the shin, to the floor or a block. Now bow to your right knee, fold to your right knee. Maybe right hand up, right hand up. Give it a little turn and hold here for a moment. Stay. Awesome. Keep your thighs pushing back, both of them. Feel that right hamstring open up. If you're turning, you might feel a smidge of release to the lower back. Stay. Inhale, hands down, hands down, exhale, walk the hands to the left, other side, other way, chest to your left knee, fold to your left knee, maybe left hand up, left hand up if you'd like to, turning, breathing, both thighs pressing back, both legs straight and strong, stay. Inhale, hands down, hands down, walk the hand center, hands to the hips. Inhale, reach the heart forward, come up, come up, and heel toe the feet in here. We're coming into a squat, keeping your knees on top of your ankles, your toes and knees are turned out. Awesome, from here, inhale, let's straighten the legs, lift the arms up high. Exhale, bend the elbows and squat down again, just loosening up the hips a little. Two more, inhale, reach up. Exhale, squat down. One more, inhale. Exhale, squat down. Now stay here. Let's bring your hands in front of your thighs and push your thighs back with your hands. Press your hips forward, squeeze your butt, lift up your heart. Awesome, just holding here for a moment so we can loosen up the hips a bit because we're staying in the squat for a while to help our lower back breathe. Awesome, now get used to this position. Let's bring your hands to the knees or thighs. Keeping the squat. Push your right thigh away with the right hand. Bow your chest to the left. Push your right thigh away with the right hand. Awesome. Give the, the right side of your lower back space. From here, turn the chest left. Turn the chest left if you can. Awesome. And turn, press that left hand into your left thigh to help you turn. Push the right thigh away with the right hand to open the hip, gives the lower back some space helps you turn a little more as well inhale switch push the left thigh away with the left hand chest to the right chest to the right get that left thigh far away from you turn the chest to the right if you can and hold on for a moment breathe good keep it here and try to stay great inhale bring it center awesome inhale start to straighten your legs all the way up and feet parallel arms up as you inhale exhale fold over come down 
Halfway up, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold over to release. Great. Now, hands to your right foot. Turn the right toes to the front. Lift the back heel. Step back, step back. Downward facing dog. From here, inhale, come forward to your plank. Exhale, lower knees down, big toes together. Sit back for a moment, child's pose. Let's join the knees together <clears throat> and sit your butt back. Let your torso curl over your legs. Bring your hands by your feet. Have the palms face up and just curl up to a ball here. Just let the back round for a little while. Stay. Breathe. Great. Whenever you're ready, inhale, push up to seated and bring your legs in front of you. Awesome. Now from here, Let's have your right leg straight, right leg straight. Let's bend your left knee, foot inside of the leg or across your straight leg. So these are all options. Please choose what works best. Make sure the butt cheeks stay down, front leg straight or bend it in. Again, check that your butt cheeks are flat on the ground. Left hand behind, left hand behind, push on the floor. Right hand up, inhale, exhale, turn left, turn left. Hook your elbow to your thigh or hug your thigh with your arm. Whatever feels better. Now make sure you can lift straight up. Use that front arm to help you turn. Now we're here for a while. Breathe. As you inhale, try to expand your whole torso. Feel that belly get big. Exhale, pull the belly in and turn a little more. Awesome. Keep breathing. Use that front arm to keep you turning. Stay. Good little longer. Keep breathing. Inhale, rewind back. Shake out the legs in front. Left leg straight, right foot goes in. Take the flesh from the bent leg, or actually, let's have your right foot down. Little mix up today. And step the foot across the leg if you would like, or keep it inside. You can keep the front leg straight or bend it in, either or. Just make sure butt cheeks stay down. Right hand behind you, left hand up, inhale, exhale, turn right, tuck elbow to thigh. Good, push down with back hand, use front arm to turn you. Make sure you're breathing. And each exhale, try to keep turning. Great, breathe. Really feel the breath move you. Each inhale, expanding the torso. Each exhale, contracting everything in, giving you space to turn a smidge more. Breathe. A little longer, please stay. Inhale, rewind back. Awesome, give the legs a little shake in front. <coughs> Let's bring the knees or the feet to the front of your mat and bend the knees. Please just lie down onto your back. Once you lie down, hug both knees to chest, circle the knees one way, really squeeze your thighs towards your chest like you're trying to give yourself a little Heimlich maneuver. Now go the other way. Good and really squeeze the thighs to the chest again. You might even Feel your butt lift up a little bit. And now come center. Now from here, let's keep the right knee to the chest, straighten your left leg to the floor. Try to follow along. Right hand to the right palm up. Exhale, knee to left, knee to left, crossing over. Now from here, a couple of options. Feel free to stop at any point you need. Stay here and press your right knee towards the ground. Maybe bend your left knee, the bottom one, and reach for the foot or ankle with the right hand, the opposite hand. Now use that right arm to pull the heel towards the butt cheek. Gives you just a smidge of a quad stretch. Makes your hips able to turn a little more. Awesome. Keep the right shoulder pressed down. Turn the hips to the left a bit more as you can. That's going to give your lower back a bit more of a release. You can look towards the right side for a gentle neck stretch and just make sure you're breathing. Good, those arms have a bit of work. Make sure you can breathe those stay. Little longer, breathe. Good. 
grates in here. Bring it all back in, rewind it all back. Awesome, and switch. Left knee to chest, right leg out to side, or right leg straight out. Left hand, left bum up, exhale, knee to the right, cross over. Again, if you'd like to stay or bend the bottom knee, bend the right knee, reach for foot or ankle, left hand, opposite hand. Pull heel to butt cheek. Bring right left knee to floor, help left knee to floor. You're trying to turn the hips to the right as you anchor both shoulders to the ground. Awesome, so you're trying to turn the lower body as the upper body stays still. Maybe look to the left side, a gentle neck stretch, and just hold here, make sure you can breathe. Please stay. Little longer, breathe. And in here, rewind it back. Exhale, hug both knees to chest. Bring the forehead to the knees, chin to chest, and just curl here to the smallest ball you can. Hug those thighs in as much as you can. Maybe the butt lifts up a little bit. Hold. Inhale here. And exhale, just collapse down. Yeah, good. Each foot to each corner of your mat, Shavasana. Final relaxation. Or if you prefer, you can have the knees bent, whatever works best. Feel free to take any extra stretches, any extra movements to get you comfortable. If you'd like, roll your head side to side, loosen up your neck a little. <clears throat> Maybe swallow to soften your throat. Please find the best place for your head to rest, relax, and take it easy. Please try to relax your face. Soften your forehead. Eyebrows, ears, cheeks, nose, lips, and jaw. Just keep your teeth separated and let the tongue pull back. There should be no more effort to your face. Let your face sink down. Please relax your arms, soften shoulders, forearms, wrists, hands and fingers. Your arms relax, release, let them go. Relax your legs, soften hips, thighs, shins, calves, ankles, feet and toes. Letting the legs relax, release, letting them go. Completely no more effort to your body. Just feel the body be heavy, be soft, be limp. Relax and keep on breathing. Please stay a while, stay.
your next inhale they start to wiggle the fingers wiggle the toes bring a bit of movement back to your body exhale bend one knee at a time feet flat to floor and turn to your right side turn to your right curl up to a ball fetal position hold there a moment keep the eyes closed just keep your peace and breathe a while. Slowly when you're ready, inhale, please press yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Take your time and sit yourself up tall. Heart towards the sky, shoulders up, back and down. Inhale, reach arms up and overhead, palms meet. Exhale, hands in front of the face. Let them land to heart center. One more big inhale here. Exhale, bow chin towards chest. Light within me bows down to the light within you. Thank you. Namaste. Awesome. Thank you for practicing with me. My name is Marcus. And if you have any questions or concerns, remember to just comment right down below. And please remember to like, subscribe, and share the video if you like if you liked it. Also, if you would like to help out the channel, remember to just check out the description below and learn how to help out from there. Have a great day and take care, everybody. Bye bye.